In the digital age, patient information is more vulnerable than ever before. With the rise of cyber attacks, data breaches and identity theft, it is crucial for healthcare organizations to take steps to safeguard patient data. Welcome to VAR India News Hour. Safeguarding patient information is essential for protecting patient privacy and ensuring that patients receive the care they need. The healthcare industry is heavily reliant on technology for data management, including electronic health records, patient portals, and telemedicine platforms. This shift to digital healthcare has significantly improved patient care and efficiency, but it has also raised concerns about data privacy and security. Data privacy is important in healthcare. Patient health information is highly sensitive and includes personal data such as medical history, diagnosis, treatment plans and prescriptions. This information is essential for healthcare providers to deliver effective care. But it is also valuable to cyber criminals. Data breaches can lead to identity theft, insurance fraud and even blackmail. Medical records are a crucial part of our personal identity and the health data generated by our bodies should be under our control. While healthcare professionals play a vital role in our healthcare journey, we as patients should have the ultimate ownership of our health data. Patients should have the autonomy to make informed decisions about their healthcare and these requires access to their own health data. Owning their data empowers patients to take charge of their health and make informed choices about treatment options, lifestyle changes, and preventive measures. Health data is highly sensitive and should be protected from unauthorized access. Patient ownership ensures that individuals have control over who can access and use their data, minimizing the risk of data breaches or misuse. Patients should have the right to know how their health data is being used and by whom. Owning their data enables them to track its users, ensuring transparency and accountability among healthcare providers, research institutions and other entities involved in their care. Moving ahead, the healthcare industry is constantly evolving and so are the threats to data privacy. Healthcare organizations must stay up to date on the latest security threats and implement new security measures to protect patient data. Let's look into today's headlines. NHRC chief suggests developing digital forensic infrastructure to address dark wave. National Human Rights Commission Chairperson Justice Arun Kumar Mishra has expressed concern about the dark wave and the threat it poses to society. He further added that there is a need to develop a digital forensic infrastructure to deal with it. The former Supreme Court judge also said that public interest litigations should not be used for political purposes. The NHRC chief said more investment should be made on a broad-based digital forensic infrastructure. Lawsuit against Meta over alleged collection of children's data on Instagram. A court document from an ongoing federal lawsuit in the US alleges Meta of refusing to shut down the majority of accounts belonging to children on Instagram under the age of 13 while collecting their personal information without their parents' consent. The complaint states that Meta disabled only a fraction of those accounts since 2019. Attorneys general from 33 states have accused Meta of receiving more than a million reports of under 13 users from parents. Government to meet RBI and PCI in wake of UCO Bank tech glitch incident. The Finance Ministry has taken a serious notice of the recent major issue at UCO Bank and rising cases of bank frauds in the country. The Ministry and the Parliamentary Panel on ICT have decided to look, look into the matter with Financial Services Secretary Vivek Joshi scheduled to hold key consultations with RBI, NPCI and TRI. The parliamentary panel has already held consultations with the Finance Ministry and Punjab National Bank, MD. 
WhatsApp may restore view once feature for desktop apps. WhatsApp feature view once which enables users to send photos and videos that disappear from the receiver's WhatsApp chat after they have opened them once was removed a year ago. But it is said to be rolling out to some users now. In the past few weeks, WhatsApp decided to bring back support for sending view once photos and videos to the, all their desktop apps. Try says DND app to start working by March 2024. The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India offers a do not disturb app that lets users block spam calls and texts. The telecom body has been quoted saying that it is fixing bugs into its DND app that is supposed to help people report these pesky calls. Try Secretary V. Raghunandan said that has roped an, an agency which is fixing bugs in the app as there were issues with some Android devices. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to our India Magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.